I'm Amanda Leatherman here with Daryl Dickin on day three of the Mirage Poker Showdown. Daryl, you seem to keep the chip lead most of yesterday and today. How do you accumulate all these chips? Well, yesterday it was uh, basically because other people kept making mistakes while I was in the hand. Um, today I've been a lot more aggressive, playing, uh, playing a lot of pots in the bubble, forcing people out of uh, the pot when their tournament life was at risk. Um, but getting the chip lead was just a matter of, I guess, getting into, involved in hands with the right type of players. What do you, and Phil Ivey's at your table, he's second in chips. What are the advantages and disadvantages of having the next person in chips at your table? Well, the, obvi the obvious advantage is if you uh, bust that player, then you have uh, that many more chips. Um, disadvantages are he's, he's like one of three guys at the, in the tournament who can cripple me. You came in off a prelim win. Does that give you a lot more confidence coming into a big tournament like this? Oh, no, not really. Um, I have a lot of confidence when I play. I don't really think about things like that. It's, I mean, granted, it's nice to get the, the free entry and the, the free roll for all the, all the money, but I don't really think about it to boost my confidence. We're probably going to have an early night tonight. What do you do to prepare for the next day? I don't really have a set regimen. I play. I'll probably play online tonight for a few hours, try and sleep. All right, well, good luck the rest of the tournament. Okay, thank, thank you. you. I'm Amanda Leatherman with PokerWire.com.